Hey guys, NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to the start of the next Let's Play. Oh yeah. So, it's on the Wii. But as you can see, it is a GameCube game. I wonder what said GameCube game could be. I'm going to go on and say, right now, this game is an E rated game. It's the second straight game I've done that wasn't on the PS3 or even on a modern gen console. And I really hope you guys like it because a fair number of people have requested it. So, I hope you guys like it. It'll probably be about 30 parts long, but it's a very, very fun game. Somewhat of a sequel indirectly to a game I've done before. You might not have been able to see it fast enough on this screen, because that screen actually flashes by pretty fast. So yeah, I'm actually like uploading a video right now off of a secondary router, my uh, air card. Let me see if I can move this. Okay. I'll probably doing that in the background of the video. Okay. Now, maybe I can sit somewhere on my bed. So, THQ, I meant to actually skip over that. If this first video gets copyrighted, I will be more than willing... Well, actually, I can have multiple save files in this game, unlike Freedom Fighters. So, anyway, the Let's Play is of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yes, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm going to start up a new game on memory card slot A, and luckily I can save over both of these if I want. So that way I don't have to worry about if I were to lose data or something. I don't think I'd get copyrighted for this song, because it actually sounds different. Okay. Initial cutscene. Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. If Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw at the switch. <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Why was there even a Dolno Bay switch on it in the first place? And you can skip cutscenes with A, by the way, because this is the GameCube version, but you can skip cutscenes with A. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlom or maybe Ranky. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. Bye, I, uh... uh. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Pushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next 
ice melting. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? So, after like six minutes, or actually like five minutes, we finally get into some gameplay. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna kind of skip through a lot of this dialogue because it's kind of stupid. Okay, so let's get to it. This is the GameCube version of the game. It is a SpongeBob game. This is a serious Let's Play. This game's a lot of fun. I don't care what anyone says. This game is a lot of fun. And, I mean, it has been requested some ever since I did that Flying Dutchman joke project. Okay, so here's some controls. Hit A to jump, or double jump by hitting it twice. Yes, you can, uh, bounce off of his couch. Hit B to attack. X and... Okay, Y makes you go up like that. It's sort of the upward attack. Hit X and then hit... Or hit jump and then X, and you will do a ground pound. Uh, R will allow you to talk to stuff. L is not helpful yet. Z brings up your HUD, your heads-up display. Okay, so, now let's look at this sign right here. Oh, wait, he's already, that was just the tutorial about signs. Now, this right here says that we need a golden spatula to open the door. There are 100 golden spatulas in the game. I'm going to be collecting the 75 necessary to access the final battle and, of course, beating the final boss. The C-Stick is, uh, camera, by the way. Okay, so, let's also look at this. Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robots. So much for fixing this. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. That's probably not a good thing. I say big trouble. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, we need 50 shiny objects to open this. Shiny objects are like the new collectible of this game. They were, in the last game, I believe it was just like doubloons and stuff, so reds are worth one apiece, yellows are worth two, the greens, let me see, I can't remember, I think greens are worth five, yep, greens are worth five. A note from Mr. Krabs! Ew. Oh, hey there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, head shiny object collector. A promotion. So, what this here so basically we find shiny objects and bring them to them and it'll give us spatulas for them. The gold spatulas are the main collectibles I said before, like almost like the letter tiles and treasure chests of the last game. And the shiny objects are basically the coins, the balloons, sand dollars, whatever you want to call them. The blues are worth 10, so they are very much worth collecting. Okay, that's just telling us about the camera controls. Jump in the shower. Okay, uh, let's jump up here. And we have... ooh. There's a few more in here. Don't want to miss any shiny objects early on. I won't be doing that much trading to Mr. Krabs, but hey, we'll worry about that later on. Okay, so you want to go into here, or you might as well. Uh, in here, a few more shiny objects. All right, I already sort of told you guys how to do that. Oh, crap. For some reason, I thought you could, like, bounce off this bed. It would have made sense. You can bounce off that, though. I don't think there's anything up above here. I just want to check. Nope. All right, here's another tutorial. This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches something dangerous. That's very, that's not reminiscent of Destroy All Humans at all. So once he's lost all of his underwear, he dies. Golden underwear can be found and it'll uh, bring up your health. One maximum health. There's three golden underwears and they're all in bikini bottom areas. Uh, let's open up this door as well. So yeah, exactly 50 shiny objects left. Don't worry, you can't get screwed over or anything. Okay, so these buttons, you can hit B to do the spin attack that I showed you. And you can use it to defeat Tiki's and robots. In that case, it just made that giant staircase. These are standard Tiki's. Uh, the combos don't really do anything as far as I can tell. Those are just standard wooden Tiki's that break in one hit. Uh, you can also actually play as three different characters in this game, but I'll get more into that later. Alright, I already showed you guys how to do that. Just hit jump and then hit, and then hit X and you will ground pound stuff. And that gives us a nice trampoline to jump on. Or quite a few little shiny objects. I think I already showed you guys that as well. Just the Y button attack. Let's grab those. These are floating tiki's, they just float. There's nothing real special about them. Okay, let's hit this switch. And that gives us a giant rolling beach ball. So you're pro 
Okay, I think I already showed you guys that. The heads up display is Z. So let's go on and roll this ball right on over to this button, and we're gonna be getting a collectible. I'm not gonna be getting all the socks in the game. I've never actually collected all of them, but I plan on collecting as many of them as I can in that 75 spatula run to the final boss. I've never actually 100% in this game before. I've come like kind of close. I've gotten to 93 of the 100 spatulas. It's the best I've ever done. And in that one, I'm only missing socks and kelp forest. Uh, spatulas, which for anyone who's played through this game before, you know why you're missing out, why I'm missing out on the kelp forest. Because that area is freaking painful. Okay, so we're going to open this closet up, and inside we have the first golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of the game. You need to collect many in order to find and defeat the source of the robots. So without further ado, let's grab our spatula. See, every spatula gives you 1% completion toward the game, so there's 100 spatulas for 100%. Good, easy map, kids. Okay, so now that we've got our spatula, we can exit the pineapple and head into Bikini Bottom. So, let's do it, guys. Let's enter Bikini Bottom. I plan on just doing stuff in Bikini Bottom the rest of this video. I don't plan to go up to the next, to the first area yet. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh? I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to re- Where did they- Where? Nobody knows where they came from. Not for me, though. Okay. Okay, shut up. I don't care. I'm sorry, but I need. I kind of want to skip that because there is some funny dialogue and stuff, but come on, it, it gets kind of repetitive and boring eventually. So, with five golden spatulas, we can head to downtown Bikini Bottom. Uh, these right here are jellyfish. They are one of the enemies in the game. These pink jellyfish really don't do anything. They'll sting you if you get close enough to them, so if they get the chance to attack. Hey, it's Bubble Buddy! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand, bubble buddy. You're out. Sorry, I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Okay, we already sort of knew how to do that. Yeah, I wish Bubble Buddy had been in more episodes. He was only in like two episodes ever. And you know who I really think they should bring back for an episode? Franken Doodle, the Doodle Bob, whatever his name was. Ah, uh, that's gonna take us to the next area. We can't go there yet. He needs to freaking be in more episodes. Doodle Bob was awesome. He was like first or second season or something. Oh my god. I don't know why they haven't brought him back. I'm glad they brought back Bubble Buddy finally more recently. Do Lagoon. Okay, let's talk to Patrick. Well, if that one's lost, where are you at? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some... Sure thing, Pat. Okay, then. For every ten... I mean... Bless you. Yeah, he'll give us a spatula for every ten socks we manage to collect. There's like eight or nine spatulas in the game from that. As with the start of any project, there is a lot of explaining to do. Let's talk to... This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. Nope. But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those... Thank you. Of course. What are employers for? Your treasure chest's looking a bit like one. 3,000 shiny objects. I usually don't trade to him because I usually use the shiny objects to access other areas within areas. You know, shouldn't he just get, like, arrested by, like, Bikini Bottom's Homeland Security Department or something for hoarding spatulas and requiring us to pay for them? Yes, I know I stole that joke from Chuck Conroy. I am so sorry. I correct myself. Squidward. Okay, so basically what you want to do in here is destroy everything. That's the first thing we need to do. This is the one that always gets some people. You have to swipe that. And then once you destroy everything, you will get a sock. Now, more importantly than the sock, though, do a bunch of jumping around. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? And he will give us a golden spatula for annoying him. Very nice. If only I could get paid to annoy people in real life, then it wouldn't be difficult at all. 
Okay, so let's head out of the door, out of Squidward's house. Yeah, this game has a much more expansive hub world being Bikini Bottom than Revenge of the Flying Dutchman did. I mean, it was an overall much better game than Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I think this was probably the best SpongeBob game they ever made. The best ever, like, exclusive SpongeBob game. Because I think it was the SpongeBob movie game felt like it was basically the exact same game as this, just with different items and missions based off the SpongeBob movie. Personally, that's how I felt. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that, but that game was just a ripoff of this one so badly. So what we want to do is wait for this little platform thing to come back. Spin, SpongeBob, spin, SpongeBob, spin. Uh, jump up here for golden underwear. So now we can wear four pairs of underwear and take four hits. Very nice. And more importantly than that even, a golden spatula atop the pineapple. So, as you can see, by pausing, you can go to the menu, and as you can see here, you can see how many socks you've collected in the present area, as well as the spatulas. If they're silver spatulas, then that means you haven't collected them yet, but you know where they are. You can hit A to take the taxi to the level, and as you can see, Jellyfish Fields will be the first area we go to, and that is actually right over here. It's free. You don't have to have any spatulas to go to it. So, guys, next time, we will enter Jellyfish Fields. See you guys then.